From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Home photos and hockey. Hello, I'm Yahaira Hernandez, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Angelique Santiago. Do your photos need some help? Reporter Shakima Meyer gives us some tips on how to take better pictures. Want to learn how to take better photos of family events, vacations, or just everyday photos? Well, I'm here today at Cal State San Bernardino to speak with Professor Thomas McGovern to get a few pointers on how to take great photos. The first thing is that you want to have a picture that's well exposed, meaning it's not too light and it's not too dark. And lighting is the basic fundamental of all pictures, and so you want to have good light. When light is coming in from behind a subject, their face is going to naturally be in a shadow, and it's always going to be un unsatisfying to us. One of the great techniques, and this is something that we professionals use all the time, and any photographer can do this too, is to use a flash, even though you're taking pictures during the day. Like at one o'clock in the afternoon, when you use your flash, you'll have that hot, you know, the sun will be a bright spot on a forehead and a nose on somebody, but the flash will go off and fill in all the great shadows on somebody's face to make a bright picture, and that's typically going to be really pleasing to most people. And how do you save your pictures? That's a really important thing. And you want to either save it onto your computer hard drive, better yet, save it onto an external hard drive in case your computer crashes, and if you really want to be safe, you also burn it onto a disk. Um, and then also uploading them to sites like Flickr or your Facebook site or your photo bucket site, things like that. That's a great way to be able to share your pictures. But when you do it, remember, always edit those pictures. None of your friends want to see 500 bad pictures, but they're really happy to look at five or six really good pictures. So there you have it. For Local Matters, I'm Shakima Myrick. Hockey comes to the Inland Empire. Reporter Abraham Peña finds out more. Empire, we finally got our very own hockey team. It is called the Ontario Reign, and this is their brand new arena. Take a look. The Citizens Bank Arena, originally known as the Ontario Community Center, is a multi-purpose arena in Ontario, California. And the arena was opened on October 18, 2008. It hosts local sporting events and concerts. 11,089 is the arena's full capacity. It is the biggest and most modern arena within the Inland Empire region. The Citizens Business Bank Arena is home to the Ontario Reign hockey team, the name is derived from an abstract noun related to royalty. Is there any charity work the team participates on? Um, yeah, the rain's very big in getting out in the community. Um, we do several jersey auctions throughout the season. We had one that was for um, the San Antonio Community Hospital. We raised just under $31,000. And our second one was for the Mary Kay Ash Foundation, and we actually raised um, just under $37,000. And next week, the players are going to be going to local elementary schools to read to kids for Read Across America. Uh, our first game was October 25th, and it was against Las Vegas Wranglers, and so we won our first match in team history. Uh, we're doing really great um, for our opening season. Our record right now is 31, 23, and 1, and we're in first place in the Pacific Division. So we'll definitely be in the playoffs. In its first season, the Ontario Reign made it to the playoff. So come on down and support your local hockey team. For Local Matters, I'm Abraham Peña. Well, that's all we have for now. I'm Angelique Santiago. And I'm Yahaira Hernandez. Join us next time for more local stories that matter. institution for teaching and learning. This is California State University, San Bernardino. Despite the array of significant faculty, staff, and student achievements, campus development, and contributions to the communities that we serve, as President Carnig likes to say, Cal State San Bernardino's very best days still lie ahead. Did you see our phone bill this morning? What a rip-off. And for what? Kayla! Something just dawned on me. Cable phone service has new technology and can cost you way less than you're paying now. That's nice to know. I'm good on water. Where will you be when it dawns oh. on you? Cable is revolutionizing phone service just like it did with TV and Internet. Cable phone. Clearly a better choice.